The man is running desperately. A giant monster is following him closely. He grabs his daughter's hand in the chaos but finds that he has grabbed the wrong person. When he turns around again, he sees the monster standing behind his daughter. The monster picks up his daughter, leaps into the water, and disappears into the Han River. The Park family runs a grocery store along the Han River. His family was not rich, but they were happy together. But they didn't know that the Han River, which was close to them, was going through a crisis. A researcher at the chemical lab was channeling waste formaldehyde into the drainage ditch and into the Han River for convenience. As a result, a giant monster mutated in the Han River and the first appearance of the monster caused a huge riot along the river. It caused numerous deaths and injuries to tourists along the river. It also took away Park's only daughter. Park jumped into the water. But how can a human body fight against a monster? He could only watch as the monster took his daughter away and could do nothing about it. The government immediately ordered a quarantine around the river and evacuated the residents. Park looked at his daughter's portrait and wept. He would never see such a bright smile again. The news recorded the incident and said that the monster was carrying an unknown virus. The virus was a deadly threat to humans. All military units had gone to Ann River to search for the giant monster. That's when medical personnel in quarantine suits arrived to disinfect the arena. When they learned that Park had been exposed to the monster's blood, they immediately put him in a quarantine bag and took him away. In the hospital isolation, Park suddenly received a phone call. The call was from his daughter. Jewel said she was trapped in the sewers. Park was thrilled to hear his daughter's cry for help on the other end of the line. He immediately informed the police of the news and asked them to go to rescue her. But the police confirmed that Park's mind was already confused. Doctors also believed he was traumatized and didn't believe him. Park thought that his daughter was still waiting for rescue. Park's family was desperate and unable to get help. So they fled the hospital and decided to rescue Jewel, who was in danger. On their own, they traded all their savings for a broken car, two broken guns and to sterilize uniforms. The family entered the quarantine area disguised as sterilizers. On the other hand, the monster returned to the sewers and brought back a little boy. Jewel falls down and holds her breath to escape the monster's attention for a while. Jewel had to live with the little boy in the dirty sewer. Her family searched the sewers many times but could not find Jewel, so they had to go home to discuss their plan. Early the next morning, Grandpa saw the monster outside the door when he woke up. So he grabbed his gun and shot at the monster. The monster immediately rushed over and the house was instantly pushed to the ground. The second shot he fired hit the monster. The Park family pursued the monster to the river. At that moment, the monster suddenly appeared behind Grandpa. Grandpa raises his gun thinking that this is the right time to kill the monster. But then the gun ran out of bullets. Grandpa fell at the monster's feet a few seconds later. After the monster left, Park was also taken by the river patrol. Anna was left alone to search for Jewel by the river. When she found Jewel's location and called Park to tell him the news, she was pushed into the sewer by the monster and passed out. Park learned the location of the sewer and rushed to tell the paramedics around her. But they didn't care about saving lives. They just wanted to use Park as a test subject. A foreign expert walked in and looked at Park, who was incoherent and excited. The specialist thinks the virus has invaded his brain and made him mentally abnormal. The foreign expert insists on studying his brain, even though no virus has been found in any of the people in quarantine so far. Park pretended to be dazed after some torture to make the nurses let down their guard. He then blackmailed the nurse with a needle and left the lab. Park took a tube of his blood and scared everyone away. He was able to escape the hospital to the location of the sewer where his daughter was. The girl saw that the monster was sleeping at the moment. She threw a water bottle and couldn't wake it up. So she used some of the dead people's clothes around her to tie a long rope. She prepared to step on the monster's body to jump out of the sewer and escape. But just as she grabbed the rope, the monster woke up. Park heard the commotion and came to see the monster. So he started to chase the monster on the bridge. A large crowd gathered by the river. They were rebelling against the government's intention of dropping harmful substances to get rid of the monster. When the police saw the monster reappear, they dropped a huge smoke bomb. This smoke is deadly to the elderly, children, and pregnant women. The monster fell to the ground in pain from the smoke. But Park rushed over to find his daughter not breathing. Only the little boy in her arms had survived. Park held her daughter and cried out. At that moment, the monster struggled to rise from the smoke. Uncle Jewel grabbed a burning bottle of wine and prepared to throw it at the monster. But the bottle accidentally fell behind him. When he was upset, Jewel's aunt, who was an archer, shot an arrow with fire into the monster's mouth. Finally, 
The monster was buried in the flames. This is the end of the disaster, but the damage brought to the family by the disaster can never be remedied. The host, directed by the famous Korean director Bong Joon-ho, was released in Korea in 2006. This movie is about a human being fighting against a mutated monster to the death. But what makes it different from Hollywood commercial films is that the main characters are not superheroes with special powers. Instead, it's about ordinary, unarmed people. In the film, the Park family is willing to pay any price to rescue Jewel, who is in danger. Their bravery and strength touch the crowd. But behind this heartwarming family love, also shows the indifference and ignorance of the real world. Human beings have no respect for the natural environment, which leads to great disasters and the helplessness of the lower class. In a society where money and power are paramount, the government is willing to put toxic substances to end the panic of the people. The irony of all these actions is that it is always a huge price to pay for the underclass to overcome their enemies on their own. It also makes us think who is the real monster 